What up Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news and merch reviews and sometimes even tutorials. Today I have a huge, ridiculously huge box from Japan. These are all items from my proxy in Tokyo. So somebody that goes around to all of the stores in Tokyo and purchases things when I request them. He charges like 15% on, on the top of that and then plus shipping to get it to me. But that is way cheaper than finding all of these items on eBay when they are usually exclusively and only sold in places like the Sailor Moon store. So that is why I love having a proxy in Tokyo. So these are all things that I've been just been like collecting over the last few months for him to ship over to me. Finally got my box, decided I would open it with y'all so you can see exactly what is in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take everything out and then I will show you one by one all of the different items. All right, ladies and gents, I have everything unboxed from that gigantic haul that I got. I'm gonna actually split it into two different videos because there's so much and they're from two different stores. So this one is going to be the Sailor Moon store haul and then I will do another video separately. So to start this off, I will show you this cute little shopping bag that I got. Uh, this is a first anniversary Sailor Moon store shopping bag. Uh, it has a cute little rendition of Chibi Sailor Moon on the front. It says Sailor Moon Makeup Usagi. So it has three different versions of her on the front. And then the back, it has the Sailor Moon logo as well as first anniversary. So I'm just using this to hold a bunch of the little items that I got from the Sailor Moon store. Okay, the first thing I will show you outside of that is this really cute hoodie that I received. So this was a Sailor Moon store hoodie that was sold there. It looks like it's the perfect size for me. Wow, that is so surprising. I never end up ordering the correct sizes when I order clothing from Japan. So this is the perfect size for my width and height. Uh, but it basically just says Bishoujo Sensi Sailor Moon at the top. It is a nice thin material, so this will be really good for the springtime, which is great. And yeah, that's about it. So not much to say on this other than it looks adorable, so I can't wait to wear it. Let's see, I got a size medium and it does have a Kodansha sticker on it, so you know that it's legit. The next two items that I received uh, kind of go together. These are basically like giant gift cards. So what you do with these, they are on cardstock, so they're nice and thick, uh, but you take them out and then you take out all these little roses and you write something on the roses, like uh, congratulations or happy birthday or whatever it might be and then you take a glue stick or some tape and you stick them all around this big card so the person that receives it sees a whole bunch of notes now I believe that there's like let's see three six nine there's like 12 10 or 12 different roses in here that you can use and then it also has a ribbon so you can actually hang it up if you wanted to it's the same thing with this Sailor Moon one as well you just use these to write on stick them all around the cardstock and then give it to the person that's receiving the gift so really cute little things. Uh, I just, I really like the art on these. So I wanted to grab them even though I will probably never use them. This is a clear file, just like every other clear file that I get. Uh, this one features Sailor Moon on the front as Usagi with some really pretty rose detailing around the sides. On the back is Chibi Moon. So we have Chibi Usa and she has a little bouquet of flowers in a basket. Very cute, very springtime, super adorable. Uh, this is quite simply just a little hand towel. It's not microfiber or anything. It's just a little hand towel, but it features Luna with all of the different Sailor Senshi signs. And it says Luna X Pretty Guardian. So Luna and Pretty Guardians. Really cute. This is the Luna figure that they've been using for a lot of the art with the Sailor Moon store. So I just wanted to grab this to add to my little hand towel collection. Uh, these next two items go together. This is a Sailor Moon store exclusive hat that features little crescent moons, a little silver millennium crystal on there, and it has Luna on there with a badge that says Sailor Moon. And you can tell it's from the Sailor Moon store because it's got the nice little tag right here. Let's see how it fits and see if it's warm. I wonder, I'm curious. I think it's a little small for my head. Yeah, I think it's a little small. Oh, well, actually, maybe not. Maybe I just have to squish it down all the way. But there's the hat. I don't know what it looks like. Hopefully it looks okay. And then we also have a matching scarf. So this is the scarf. It looks the same on front and back, but it features 
cute little details of Luna all over the place on it. So very, very cute. And it's really thick too, so really nice scarf for the winter time. And then uh, we do have a tag right here that says Sailor Moon Store, and it tells you that you can wash it. Now it looks like a uh, hand wash, I believe, is the way that you should wash this but it's, I always forget what the icons mean. I got a whole bunch of cute little trinkety items from the Sailor Moon store as well. Uh, this is one of those little things that you stick on the back of your cell phone so that you can hold it, but it's from the Sailor Moon concert. It has a really pretty little crescent moon with a bunch of music notes in there, uh, but I like this because I almost missed out on it. I almost missed out on being able to get this. Luckily, they stocked them at the Sailor Moon store so that I was actually able to get one. Uh, this is from the 2018 classic concert in case you're looking for one. And it was pretty, ooh, it was pretty inexpensive too. So not too bad of a price at all. You can tell that I haven't done a Sailor Moon store unboxing in a while because these are pretty old, but I finally decided to take them out of the box. Uh, these are from Halloween. <laughs> These are Sailor Moon store exclusive keychains that feature Luna on them. I couldn't choose, so I decided to get both of them. One says trick or treat and it has a whole bunch of cute little snacks underneath Luna. And then the other one has a jack-o'-lantern and then Luna is poking up right over the jack-o'-lantern. Both of them are sparkly, they are acrylic, and then on the back it says Happy Halloween 2018 on both of them. Very cute. I love Halloween items, especially when it's Sailor Moon, so I was all about these. I got these two cute little pins. Uh, both of these are the Sailor Moon store first anniversary pin set. So we have Luna on one of them and she looks like she's unboxing a little present and it says Sailor Moon store first anniversary. The other one features Sailor Moon and it has the same art as this keychain uh, which features just Usagi with Luna and they're sitting on a crescent moon and then that also says first anniversary. Now this keychain has a sparkly background to it. It's a really pretty large acrylic keychain. And then it also comes with a postcard on the back. Okay, these are a couple more keychains that I decided to get. These are called ornament keychains. I will probably actually use these when Christmas rolls around this year and I'll stick them on my little miniature Christmas tree so I can put them up here and show it off. Uh, but yeah, these are just acrylic keychains, very simple. There's one of Luna and uh, Sailor Moon and both of those look like snowflakes. We also have Sailor Moon's wand and we have Sailor Moon's fuku bow. This is really cool, especially if you're into Japanese culture. Uh, you find these a lot at shrines. People will purchase these from a shrine and they will tie them up with like a prayer or some kind of blessing on the back or some kind of wish that they have and then they'll leave it there at the shrine for the uh, people that work at the shrine to bless them. Um, so I see these all the time. I believe I have that right. If I don't, please correct me. Um, but I just love them. I think they're really, really pretty. And I also like that they are you know, culturally significant. So I really appreciate that we have something like these little, I think they're called Ema, Ema boards or something like that. I don't remember, but I like that we're able to collect these, especially when they feature different Sailor Senshi. So I got the Sailor Mars one because that's the one that came out this year. And these keychains are kind of hard to see, so I'll definitely show you some close-ups of these, but these feature Tuxedo Mask and his four soldiers. So these include Jedite, Nephrite, Zoisite, and Kunzite, and all of them are in their manga representations. So really, really pretty uh, keychains if you like collecting things that have the baddies on them. I know it's super rare to get anything with the enemies on them, and, and since they aren't necessarily enemies, they were just like brainwashed, I think it's pretty cool. So I decided to collect all five of these. I just think they're really pretty, and they are acrylic as well, so nice and durable. These next items all go together. So first we have this cute little pancake pan, and what I like about it is that it features Sailor Moon's Crescent Compact. So cute. So I'm sure that my husband will think I'm absolutely ridiculous, especially since he's the cook in the house. But I thought this was so cute and I kind of want to try some pancakes and see if this actually works and they actually show up like this. Uh, so let me know if you want me to test this out and show it off on the show. Uh, but this is the little pan that they were selling at the Sailor Moon store. So they were also selling this adorable set that goes together. So this is your little kitchen set with the hand mitt and then the little like hand thing for heat heated stuff. I don't remember what these things are called. but. 
This has really pretty art of Sailor Moon's wand on it, and then it says Sailor Moon right there. Um, I like how this is printed on there. I think it's really pretty. We also have Sailor Moon's Fukubo and a nice big print on the mitt. Now these mints, they are not gonna be like fire retardant or anything like that. These don't have any of those special details or anything like that. So if you stick this in an oven, it will likely burn and it will probably get really dirty. Will I ever use them? Probably not. <laughs> Okay, so in this bag, I have a series of plushies, which as y'all know, I don't really collect any plushies, but I like the way that these are made. They are super soft, they are very pretty, they have cute little gemstones on their fukus, on their Sailor Senshi outfits, and their hair is so soft and they have embroidered eyes, so they look really good. They're nice and detailed, sorry Sailor Mercury, and they just look adorable. So I got all five of the Inner Senshi, which I can show you here. So I have Sailor Moon and here's Sailor Jupiter. Aren't they adorable? They're so cute. And their hair is super soft and they're adorable little plushies. Uh, they're made to sit down. They are not made to hang up, although they do have little tags at the top, um, but they have like big butts that look like diapers. So you can actually sit them down on a shelf, which will look great up there, I think. I just love that all of them have these pretty embroidered eyes and they just look like they're nice quality, um, which you don't really see a lot of with the plushies from like the 1990s era. Um, I, I just think they're cute and I just like how nicely made they are. So super, super soft and it's just so adorable. So I was just like, I have to get those. So I did, I bought them. I bought all five of them, but not just five. I also got this pair. So this is a really cute little pair. It's called the Sailor Moon Eternal Romance pair of plushies. These ones sit down just the same way as the five inner senshi. Uh, this one features tuxedo mask and he does have a mask on, but he does have eyeballs underneath and his eyeballs are embroidered. That's so cool. Oh, he's so cute. Uh, super soft again. His hat is kind of squished, so hopefully I'll be able to reshape his hat because it's a little derpy at the moment. And then we have Sailor Moon. And Sailor Moon, in this case, um, she has a different facial features on the front, so she looks a little bit different. She's basically made the same way, but instead of a crystal on her brooch, she has, you know, her actual brooch. So it looks like it's printed on felt, which is a little bit different than the other one. All right, now to wrap this up, I have just a few other things that I wanted to show you today. The first being the Eternal Moon article jewelry box. Yeah, it's a little jewelry case. Uh, the one that I had ordered from my proxy is actually the fan club edition. I had to order it through him because I cannot order things through the secret Bandai website because my address has already been used, um, most likely because I use a warehouse address in Japan to order things from the Sailor Moon fan club. So I can usually order things myself, but when it comes to that premium Bandai secret site that's only for the fan club members, I have to go through my proxy. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this tissue paper and show you what it looks like. So here's the box for the Eternal Moon article. It's really pretty. Uh, it's got a nice backing to it. It's a nice like matte color on here. Uh, the back of it has a bunch of Japanese, bunch of legalese, but it does have one of the toy stickers there as well. The two sides are yellow and they have gold foil printing of a crescent moon on there. And the entire box, once you slip it out of its little like slip case, is yellow and it does have the gold foil everywhere. The front of it says Sailor Moon Eternal Moon Article Jewelry Case. The back of it is blank other than copyrights. And if I open this, this beautiful picture from the manga of Eternal Sailor Moon and Sailor Galaxia. So that's really cool. This is one of the things that you can see in the previous art books. Uh, it's nice that the fan club member version did include this. The non-fan club version did not include this art print and it came in a different box. That was the only difference though. This thing smells like plastic. It is crazy. Mmm, mm, plastic, yummy. Okay, so here's the Eternal Moon article jewelry box. Since we don't have a proplica yet, this is pretty much as close as I have gotten. Uh, this is made completely out of plastic on all sides, 
it's not necessarily high quality like the Proplicas are, but this is definitely high quality compared to a lot of like the Gashapons and things like that. So I also like that the size is nice and big. We have cute little gems all around the edges of the heart, just like you see in the anime and the manga. And then you have a nice ombre texture on the two wings. When I prop this open, you can tell that the orange part is see-through. It's like a little opaque there. And then we have this really pretty ombre rainbow that goes on on the inside, just like you see in the show and the manga again. And we have a cute little crystal heart in the middle and that is in pink. When I open the second opening, which is where you would put your jewelry, or if you're in California, your weed, then this is where you would store everything. And then the top of this, which is also plastic, uh, says Sailor Moon, no, it just says Moon Eternal Makeup. And then it has Sailor Moon's tiara, her staff, her really long staff from the last season of the show. Very pretty, super cute. Very happy that I decided to purchase this. It looks awesome. So I'm gonna probably put that up there right next to my Proplicas until an actual Proplica comes out. And then, uh, I don't know, I might donate this, I might give it away, something like that. Cause I definitely prefer to collect the Proplicas as opposed to the toys. Cause I think those are um, a lot more durable and I think they'll last longer and they're just so beautiful compared to, you know, the toy versions. But this jewelry box is adorable. I like that it is that nice big size too because it's definitely something that you could add to your collection. All right, we're on our last items from the Sailor Moon store, and I don't know if this was a good idea to purchase these or a bad idea, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I ordered candy. I ordered two different kinds of candy. I got a lollipop, and I got some little hard candies. Now, y'all know from last time that I ordered candy from Japan, it came in and it was disgusting and it was probably like the worst move that I've made on this channel so far because I, it just totally grossed me out. So um, yeah, I'm gonna taste test these and let's hope that they are more delicious than previously. So I'm just gonna go ahead and break open these. Uh, these are just little hard candies that feature all of the inner Sailor Senshi. They also say Sailor Moon Store and they have Luna and Artemis ones. Okay, there is a date on the back of these that say 2019 11 7. So I'm really hoping that means that these are not expired. <laughs> they don't smell good. I'll give you that much. They don't smell good at all. Okay, I'm doing it. They're tangy. They're like really tangy and they dissolve in your mouth. They taste, mm, sorry. They, um, I need to give it a moment. Okay, these are actually pretty good. Like they're kind of addictive. Mm. I love how fast they dissolve in your mouth and they're super tangy, kind of like, um, like Smarties or something like that, but delicious. Yeah, very good. Okay, so these are a good buy. Highly recommend. If you like tangy candies, I need to take a drink of tea. If you like tangy candies, then these are a good one to recommend. Okay, and then I will move on to the lollipop. So this is cute. This is like made to be a gift to somebody. So it has a to and a from on the back of it, which is adorable. Uh, up at the top, we also have an expiration of 2019 1030. So hopefully that means these are still good as well. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and open this and see what it tastes like. Okay, it's kind of like a sticky material, like a, a hard lollipop. So it's probably just straight up sugar, which is, that's a lot of sugar to eat. Uh, but it's cute. The front of it features uh, Sailor Moon's Crescent Compact. So we have that on the front and it is pretty heavy. Hopefully it tastes good. Okay, so it's kind of fruity in a way. Definitely has like a fruity taste to it. Yeah, it's definitely like really fruity tasting, um, but it's obviously like artificial flavoring. It's not natural flavoring or anything like that. And it's hella sugary, like really, really sugary. Uh, so don't get this unless you want lots of sugar because uh, I have a feeling this will last a really long time and it'll take me forever to actually eat it. So I'm not gonna finish it here on camera, but that's what it looks like and that's what it tastes like. Um, I would say I had a lot more better luck with both of these candies than I did previously. <laughs> I actually think both of these taste a lot better than the cookie that I had tried from Q-Pot 
because that was just not good. Both of these are still good. They're well within their expiration dates and they are quite tasty. So if you go to the Sailor Moon store, I would recommend both of these. Okay, well, that was everything from the Sailor Moon store. I loved everything that I got today. Let me know what your favorite item was. I'm super excited to wear the hoodie and the scarf next year. I'll have to wait until next year because it's starting to warm up here in the Bay Area. Uh, I also love the jewelry case. I think that's so cute. Comment below, let me know what your favorite item was. And if you have any questions, as usual just make sure to ask those down below in the comments and I'll be sure to answer them for you because I love commenting back with everybody who subscribes to my channel so thank you again so much for liking and subscribing and don't forget to stick around for more videos just like this one I have plenty coming up for you thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time Johnny.